Hi friends, I'm back with one more video. So today I'm just going to discuss about my real trade. So basically this was a debit spread, which actually got converted to a sort of butterfly or we can call it as a ratio ladder. All right. So if you look at the trade, right? So it had a margin requirement of close to 35,000. It has a potential of 18% maximum profit. And currently we stand at like almost like 8% <clears throat> profit. All right. If you look at the payoff graph, the trade has become completely green on both PE side as well as the call side and with the maximum profit on the middle of the part. All right. So let me show you like how the trade has started. So I've just opened a new tab. So basically, on 25th of Friday, on 25th, it was last Friday, I've started a debit spread. So this was my original trade. All right. So debit spread is something like we, I bought 35,500C and 36,000. So this is the debit spread with, with almost the risk to reward of 1 is to 2. The capital deployed was only 18,000. All right. So which has a potential of uh, 8,000 as profit and 4,000 as loss. All right. So when I started the debit spread, so let me just quickly show you the graph. So this was 25th, right? If you look at the chart, right? <clears throat> On 25th, the market <clears throat> almost came down. <clears throat> it retraced. It again made a low. It went up. It again made a low. And now it is just rallying up. So th this was not a straight upward. So it had like retracement and upward. So considering this market situation, how we converted the debit spread to call ladder. Okay. So this was my original trade. All right. So what the first adjustment, what I've done is like when market went up. All right. So if you look at this trade, the original bought price was 341, but I've squared off this like 35,500 for 553. Just trying to simulate over here. Okay. I'm just squaring off. <clears throat> And then what I've done is like, I might have taken 35,800. All right. So I've squared off this entire leg. <clears throat> <clears throat> then I bought 35,800 for 394. All right. <clears throat> that was 35,800. See he for three ninety four. All right. Okay, so once I did this first adjustment by squaring off 35,500 <clears throat> and buying a new call of 35,800. My entire payoff graph has changed. So I'm just left with 89 uh, rupees 89 as a loss and the, the maximum uh, potential profit has increased. All right. If you look at my original trade, <clears throat> I've done two more adjustments. <clears throat> Reason being, so let's say market was standing here. Okay. So if market goes up, so then I'll fall into this uh, profit zone. But what if, if market comes down, right? So I might end up into 89 rupees loss. So the strategy, what I've done is like, so I wanted to have a strategy in such a way that there should be some profit on the, if the market goes upside and also there should be profit, even if the market comes down. So basically what adjustment I've done is if you look at the original trade, this was my original trade. All right. So what if, if I make this trade as a butterfly, right? So just to make the butterfly, what I'll do is like, I'll go for, I'll purchase the 36,000 CE. <clears throat> 36,000 CE, I'll just sell one CE. And look at the gap difference. So there is a difference of 200 strike gap between this sell and this buy position. So now I'll maintain the same difference. So I'll purchase 36,200. I'll, I'll get an 
C this time that would be by right so when i do this this will become a typical butterfly right so we have profit on both upside also downside with the maximum profit in the middle but the kind of adjustments what i've done is like if you look at this triangle right so this is a very low so i have the very low margin so just to increase the margin what i have done is rather than going for 36000 what i've done is like i went for 36100 you will see the difference here 36100 all right so 36100 i bought it for 315 dot two okay three one five dot two all right i sold it <clears throat> and then i bought one more call that is thirty six thousand three hundred all right i'll come back here i'll just convert this to thirty six thousand three hundred this i bought it for almost two thirty five dot six 235.6 right so friends this is my trade so when i initially started with a debit spread and then i converted it to iron iron fly but somehow i was not happy with the range so then what i've done is like i've just made this as a ratio ladder so that this is not a triangle now this is a sort of triangle with flat surface area on the top so by basically which will increase my range also so this is the current trade friends i have like 2000 almost like close to 2000 profit on the upside i have like close to 2000 profit on the downside and if market ends between this green area within this triangle uh, green area so i'll end up getting more profit so guys this is the way we can just convert the debit spread to butterfly or to a ladder ensuring that your trade is green from either side either on the top top side or on the bottom side and if the trade ends between your this green area you'll end up into getting more profit and that's what it shows here so you have the potential of 18,068 per six uh, 18 eight, sorry 18.68 percent with a minimum of 7.46 so if required you can just exit from the trade by taking almost like 7.46 but if you want to hold until the expiry if you're if if you have if your analysis says that okay market might retrace and end up end up into this uh green area so you you might get like more profit so it's it depends on individual perspective and friends even we can even we can do some sort of adjustments here i'll just try to uh create one more video in case if i do some uh, adjustments all right so presently i'm getting like almost like seven percent within one two three four trading days all right so this is the beauty of debit spreads friends so i'll start making all my real trades so that you can learn from those trades and this is my real trade just to prove you this is not something like i've deployed in the obstra i'll show you my this is my real trade friend the same links but here you'll be seeing like 2500 loss reason being this 5300 will not be showing in sensible because i've squared off this legs maybe day before yesterday so sensible doesn't have the feature of showing you the squared off but if you look at the other legs 35800 right see this is 35800 and then you have 36000 okay this is 36000 you have 36100 36100 and then 36300 so these are all real trades friends so i made almost profit of 8% in 3 to 4 trading sessions by just converting the debit spread into iron butterfly and this is like more of a ratio ladder thank you friends